Welcome to 144,000 Teachers, the First Fruits unto God and to the Lamb. In the menu in City Country, we are entering again the School of the Highest Order based on True Education, where you will find the 12-day conference and every day you will find the agenda as you may want to revise it or even use it to present it to the people that you will reach to. In day number eight now where we have reached, you will hear of wars. And this, this is according to Matthew chapter 24 where Christ himself gives to the disciple an answer to their question, what should be the sign of thy coming? And Christ started by saying to them that there will be wars and rumors of wars and there will be pestilences. And But he says, do not be afraid because this is just the beginning of sorrows. And we know over the past centuries, we have had a lot of wars. First World War, Second World War, and now an impending war that is going on in Ukraine and between Ukraine and Russia, which really, really uh, involve all nations. And people are worried. People in the high places are wondering where this will go. But we know that we have confidence that Christ knows where it's going and we can have faith. Meanwhile, we have to occupy till he comes. And let's stay focused. And the focus for us is to give the teaching of this gospel to all nations. And this is really the true sign of Christ's second coming that he tells us in Matthew chapter 24. When this gospel will be preached to all nations as a witness, then the end will come. So let's concentrate, let's focus on what is our priorities here. Because we could defocus and we could get scared and then the Lord will not have the, he will not have the people that he needs to work with. So here we have the agenda for day number eight, which is also corresponding to Sabbath the 29th of the sixth biblical month and corresponding to September 27, 2022 Gregorian Reckoning. So blessed Sabbath, everyone. And for this particular agenda, we have quite a bit of material to show you. First of all, we are looking at the Spirit of Prophecy, and the title is You Will Hear of Wars. So we will be covering chapter 2 to chapter 12, inclusively of the book of Daniel. It sounds like a lot of work, but you can see the videos are quite short and that will give you time in between to have a on trial. But there are a few chapters that beside those that you will be looking at. It's all based on historical and present day application. We are told that prophecy are basically announced before they happen. So they are events that are to happen but they're announced in advance so that we should know and recognize the times that are among us. So here we have in chapter 10, 11, for example, we want to give you a, an idea of what you are to expect. As we mentioned, it is based on historical and present day application. So these are not predicting anything. It's simply studying the Bible according to the signs that we are receiving and seeing if those things are so. Now, we know that since the 1900, there has been a lot of wars. Inclusively, we had had World War I, World War II, and this one, people are talking about a World War III between Ukraine and Russia. But we're praying that the Lord will give us a little bit more time for this message to go out throughout the world. But there is a war, Desert Storm, which some of us have seen come to pass in the 1990s, which was the announcement of the New World Order. And basically, there is definitely something to be said about that war. It was pretty serious. And as we studied it in the context of the prophecy, we see a lot of events that have developed ever since. And we want to present you this chart in that study and you may want to take time to listen carefully when that is presented. So this again is under the book of Daniel. So you will want to look into this carefully and look at it from the point of view of history, but also from present day events. We also will show you how the prophecy of Jeremiah chapter 49 has to do with Elam, 
and Elam in the Bible, you will discover that it's corresponding to Islam and it's corresponding to the Muslim people and of course the Islamic religion. So you will want to look at it carefully where we have brought together the events of World War One, World War Two, and a scenario of a possibility of World War Three. And the reason why we believe that way is because we have studied it in the context of the Holy Roman Empire and the four beasts of Daniel chapter 7. So you will not want to miss this study and also bringing you then together with chapters 10 and 11. So we have chapter 10 and chapter 11 here of the vision of the King of the North and the King of the South. These are PDF. They also exist in videos. So this is what you will be seeing. But you are definitely recommended to copy and, and preserve this PDF in a USB and make copies, if you like, hard copies that you can use for teaching. Sometimes the Wi-Fi is not always available, so it's nice to have a hard copy. So this is all basically for you to copy and use for your teaching. So there we have, again, another historical application and a present the application of the prophecy of the book of Daniel, more specifically here, Daniel 10 and 11. And this has not been done very often, perhaps, but nothing is against it. We are told in the spirit of prophecy that prophecy can have a dual application, which is a primary and secondary application. Primary application is when all the event occurs and fulfill the prophecy, where secondary is when all not the condition are met. So many times people have applied the prophecy in the past, which we call historical, but they did not always meet all of the events and the application that it was meant to be, specifically those corresponding to last day events. But history has some value and we cannot forget about history and study it carefully because it reveals a lot of what we can understand today. This particular decree number 23rd will also be presented, which brings together the book of Daniel and Revelation. And here it's a study regarding the beast, regarding the kings, regarding the crown, regarding the horns. So hopefully you will find it very interesting. And again, it's based on history, more particularly the early Christian church to today, and it's called the falling away. And this is based, again, we give you always the biblical references and the historical references, so you can look at it before you reject it, because as the Bible say, he that speaketh before he hear it, it is folly and shame unto him, so we do not want to be fooled. Fool in the Bible does not mean you're crazy, it means simply that you do not pay attention when things are very important. So here we have a full study on something very, very important that we believe at 144,000 teachers will be one of the main important signs when that occurs, and it has to do with the Sunday law. And the whole study of the falling away of the Christian church has started with a Sunday law, a first Sunday law declared in 325 AD, which actually brought about the change in the calendar. And this was prophesied in Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. But we have forgotten to take that into consideration. And 1,700 years later, someone has not forgotten that. And they intend to celebrate that particular anniversary of the change of the calendar in 325 AD. Do the math. 2025 coming up minus 325 is 1700 years and believe it or not following the discovery that the vatican intends to celebrate that 1700 years of change of calendar and establishing the roman catholic church as a church and state government more particularly around 538 a.d corresponding to the prophecy of the book of daniel and revelation this is where we are today, and this is why we took that very seriously. This study is one of the earlier, the youngest one we have so far. It's actually based, uh, done in 2021. So please take time to listen carefully, go back at it, and see if these things are so. 
because it brings together, that study brings together a lot of important uh, organization, the group of seven, the group of 10, and all these numbers that you hear all the time in politics. Could it be that we are looking at it right in the face and we have not put it together thus far to understand what is going on? And you know, the last event will be rapid one, the last movement will be rapid one, and we will be surprised by the simple means by which God will finish this work in righteousness. So these are present day events that you may never, never been, have been aware of, but you will want to listen carefully. We have every single reference to demonstrate it, and we always do that in our research. These are not our own writing. These are research, and this is what we believe we are supposed to do. Always bring it in the context of the Word of God and the Spirit of Prophecy. So we encourage you to study carefully and pay attention when these are presented. And following the Sabbath of the 29th of the sixth month today, at sunset will be the Feast of Trumpets. We're changing months. We're going to the seventh month, which is the month of the Fall Feast. So the, the seventh month is always bringing together the Feast of Trumpet, the Day of Atonement, and the Feast of Tabernacles. So you will not want to miss this important study as well that we will be presenting tomorrow for you, and that will be day number nine. So the what we have done here, we have adapted the conference because it's not always corresponding to the same days that we see right now. So we praise God that we have you as wanting to study these wonderful things that we love sharing and please take time to study and see if these things are so. And if they are, please go home and pass them on so that this message can be spread out and that the people you know we do not know, but then makes it, it makes it even more of a message for us to pass on to you. And then the end will come when everyone has been informed. We are aiming towards the second coming. We can extend the coming of the Lord. And that is what is our belief at 144,000 teachers. So may the Lord bless you as you faithfully study and may he cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace always. God bless you.